Now from the Columbia Basin, your local news source, this is iFiber One News, presented in high definition. The number one source for real-time local news, local sports headlines, and our very own weather center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. With your iFiber One News team, reporting news in real time as it's happening. From the iFiber Communications HD Broadcast Studio in Ephrata, Washington, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Welcome to iFiber One News. I'm Alan Troop with your weekend edition. We will review some of the top stories for this week and a few of your favorites. And we have the latest weather forecast for the Columbia Basin from the iFiber One Weather Center. One of our top stories this week was about a former Royal City wrestler and his band's recent Latin Grammy nominations. Here with the story is Jeff Chu. Dicen que soy el rey de reyes, que tiene lujos y placeres, que tiene todo lo que quieres, toma fortuna. Royal City's own Jose Barajas is a bass and guitar player with Los Canarios de Michoacán, a Pasco-based band recently nominated for two Latin Grammy Awards. The band last month traveled to Las Vegas, where all the international stars of the Latin music industry converged for the Latin Grammy's ceremony. Los Canarios were nominated for the Best Norteño album, Hoy y Siempre, which the also-nominated hit song Todo y Nada can be found. Los Canarios recently drew a crowd of fans that packed Andalus nightclub to capacity in Quincy, one of the band's rare performances in Grant County. Jose recalled growing up in Royal City where he made his original mark at the high school, not on the stage, but on the mat. Wrestled for Royal City, uh, was a state champ actually in wrestling, so it's another one of my passions. And uh, from there I went to college to go wrestle in Yakima. Came back to Moses, did some cage fighting. A little bit different, did some union painting. Uh, then I started doing this in music, so. But music was always a part of his family growing up in Royal City. Our family, we all started, I, we had a group as little kids. Um, my uncles and my parents, they liked to get together, have some refreshments, some drinks. And uh, they, they liked music, so they started with guitar and a piano and from then they started learning and uh, they had us kids learn and uh, we were playing at, at the school at Royal, at the elementary as little kids. It was the path that led Jose to Los Canarios six years ago. They called my cousin that used to be in the band and he went to go try out for, uh, to be the, the lead vocalist and he told them, hey, well, I have a cousin that plays the bass. He said it was a thrill of a lifetime for the band to be nominated for two Grammys. It was exciting, very, very exciting, and still, it didn't hit us till we were actually there in Vegas at, at the Latin Grammys. Like, I didn't, I was like, okay, this is awesome. Once I got there and I saw how much of a, it was, it's a big deal being there. Only the top, top people are there, top musicians, top composers. So it was an awesome experience. While he always calls Grant County home, with his wife, children, and the rest of the Barajas family living here, Los Canarios are going places. We tour all over the United States, and uh, we've taken two years of not going to Mexico, but I think this coming year we're going to start going back there and touring, so going international. And we have future plans to go to Chile, to go to Honduras, Paraguay. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. Thank you, Jeff. Every day, police officers, deputies, and state troopers are on the streets protecting us from drunk drivers. They received some recognition from the Central Basin Traffic Safety Task Force during their Night of a Thousand Stars. Here's Vivian Huang with the story. It was the Night of a Thousand Stars. The Central Basin Traffic Safety Task Force acknowledged the efforts of local law enforcement officers to keep impaired drivers off the roads. Officers from both Grant and Adams counties were presented awards for making a minimum of 20 DUI arrests between January 1st and November 16th. Awards were also presented for the top cop with the most DUI arrests, honorable mention awards, and Night of a Thousand Stars awards for education. Target Zero manager and coordinator Erica Simmons told iFiber One News why she feels acknowledging the officers is so important. I cannot say enough about the officers I work with. Um, their camaraderie together, the, the agencies, 
they all work together so well. I mean, and we're talking Adams County and Grant County both. It's the way they interact with each other and the way they respect each other is amazing. And for me to just be a small part of it, I just feel honored. Um, so I just, I feel it's very important for the public to understand. So many, so many times people look at cops as the bad guys. They're always out there writing tickets and they're, you know, and especially children, you know, there's a lot of children that they see an officer come to arrest a parent or it's a bad circumstance. And so I think we need to remind the community that they're doing a very dangerous job and they're doing us a huge service and they don't get thanked enough. And so I want to make sure that they're thanked for the efforts that they that they make. They're saving lives and that's important. For iFiber One News, this is Vivian Huang. Thanks, Vivian. Each of the people you see here has warrants for their arrest and is wanted by various law enforcement agencies. If you see any of these people, the DLC asks that you not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but to call police. You can also call the Department of Corrections at 509-764-6180 during the day or 509-762-1160 after 5 p.m. We will be back after these messages. <laughs> 